This is Kite Foiling, a brand new sport to the Olympics this year. And Ellie Aldridge is one of the best. She's European champion, world silver medalist, and is going for gold in Paris. Riders fly above the water on hydrofoils attached to boards. They're powered by huge kites and reach speeds of up to 51 miles an hour. Ellie, what's it all about? I'm Ellie Aldridge, and this is my guide to kite foiling. In kite foiling, you need a board, a foil, a kite, plus some wind and water to fly. Athletes need core stability, strength, and strategy. We race on a course that's marked out with buoys on the water that involves going upwind and downwind. Got it. Can I have a go? All right, Joel, it takes quite a long time to learn to kite foil, but we're going to break it down a little bit. We're going to start off with the bottom half of kite foiling, which is the foil element. Ellie is going to try me out on a battery-powered hydrofoil board. With kite foiling, I'm powered by the wind, but these are slightly different. They are powered by battery, so you've got the glider bit at the bottom that creates the lift, and then you've got the mast, and then the board that you stand on. So basically, we're half kite foiling. Yeah. That works for me, come on, <laughs> let's do this thing. Ellie's taking me round to a quieter part of the bay to find some calmer water to give me a fighting chance of getting up. I'm starting off on my chest to get to grips with the motion of the board. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. OK. <laughs> Salt water in the mic. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Bye, guys. Whoa! <laughs> well, okay, Ellie's already up, standing. How did she do that? Whoa! Ah. <laughs> All right, I think you're ready to get on your knees now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when you're getting on, up onto your knees, I think you need to shift your body weight forwards a little bit. OK. And then as you build speed a bit more, lean back slightly. <laughs> yeah. Use your shoulders to lean and steer. We will try. Yeah. I can't for the life of me figure out how you're supposed to do this with a kite as well. Far too much from my little brain. But I can do this. See ya. Woo! I can get up properly on my knees. I just need to figure what happens when I'm up top. Maybe I'll ask Ellie. Now she's busy. Success! As soon as the board starts lifting up, yeah. lean over your front leg. Okay. Like lean forward, and then you'll control it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Now, this feels impressive to me, but competitors during the Olympics will be going so much faster whilst having to navigate around a tough course. That was epic! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> and now we're going to switch to the top half, which is the kite. I've got to remember that this is only part of the sport, so we're back on dry land and Ellie shows me the kind of kite she'll use in the competition. It's really, really windy. Is that going to make it harder <laughs> or easier? Uh, you might get pulled around a little bit, but it'll make it feel a bit more realistic. You just hold the kite like this and walk backwards. OK, you can let go. Ah, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Because the kite is really small, it's going to turn really, really quickly. Just keep it above your head like this, and then just tilt the bar really, really slightly. Woo -hoo! It's not going to take me away, to... is it? Uh, hopefully not. All right, Joel, you ready to give it a go? I'm ready, Ellie. I'm a kite pro. I all got right, it. All yours. Go. Whoa! 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 Ah, the camera! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. And we're off. Oh, maybe not. I can't tell if this is my fault or Mother Nature's fault. It takes a little bit of getting used to. So obviously you're the first ever person from Team GB bringing kite bowling to the Olympics. How does that feel? Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. It's really cool. Silly question, right? <clears throat> when multiple people are doing this at once, do the kites not get all tangled with each other? They can do. You have to watch out for everyone. You're so close to other people. You have to have a lot of trust in their ability as well as your ability. Uh -huh. But occasionally someone can make a mistake and you do get tangled. 
Ellie, when I'm doing this, I can't even begin to imagine me being on a board at the same time and water splashing and it's too much. <laughs> How do you do it all at once? I don't understand. You get used to being able to fly the kite without thinking about it. So once you can do that, you can do it with one hand. With one hand. And then you don't have to even look at the kite. You're showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you can do that, you get used to using the board a bit more. Got it. And you just you just practice a lot. Mastered the kite and oh, I'm pretending I'm on water. It's, it's good. Do you think you think I got it? Yeah, you can, man. No. <laughs> oh, forget it, Ellie. Forget it. <laughs>